Gary Loves on Landscape Scale. Um, Peter and I recently met at the Society of Conservation Biology meeting in China and um, realized there's a great deal of synergy between the work that he's doing and the work that's happening at, at C4. And so we took this opportunity to invite him to come and give a presentation. And um, he's particularly interested in working in, or has been working in Kalimantan. And um, after the presentation, if there's anybody who wants to share experiences of working in Kalimantan, perhaps Eve and, and others, um, have the opportunity to, to stay out and have a more informal discussion. I know that no one uh, is going to do so, it doesn't come yet. But um, anyway, welcome to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The tradition team advancing conservation in the social context and our focus on trade offs. I'm really here um, to, um, to seek your feedback in a sense, and, and, and what I want to present this as a way of, of, of getting some feedback from you. Um, I'm very interested in learning more about your domain for uh, work here at C4, because as, as, as Terry said, there is, I think, a lot of potential for um, collaboration. There's certainly, uh, I think, some very productive um, uh, points of, of, uh, of connection. <clears throat> um, so let me just, uh, uh, the uh, Center for Integrative Conservation, so just to give you some context, was created in uh, January uh, 2007 uh, at the University of Georgia um, uh, by the Research Initiative Advancing Conservation in the Social Context. This was initiated by the MacArthur Foundation, um, <clears throat> um, a product of Michael Wright, who was the, at that point the conservation, so recently the conservation director at MacArthur, um, having proposal after proposal after proposal come across his desk and promise win-win scenarios. Um, and he grew skeptical and he said, listen, you know, there are times when we really can't um, uh, expect win-win scenarios. They, um, they, they're, they're very optimistic, but are they realistic? And so he was interested in developing a way uh, that, um, in, in the context of his particular work, um, that they could, in fact, have um, uh, people who apply for funding, in, in essence, admit that sometimes it has to be hard choices, but then, then what? Um, and that's the question that funders face, it's the question that many of us face in our work. ACSC is conceived of as a five-year project, three years of research, two years of dissemination. We are now in year, um, year three. Um, <clears throat> It's a partnership between Arizona State, the Center for Integrative Conservation Research at the University of Georgia, um, and three, uh, well, Georgia Tech and MCS are involved as well, but three um, uh, country partners, uh, Sequena University of Agriculture in Tanzania, uh, the Peruvian Society for Environmental Law in Lima, and um, <coughs> Press in, uh, in Vietnam at, at uh, Vietnam National University. Um, <coughs> The goal of ACSC is to improve the ability of key actors to identify, analyze, and negotiate future conservation and development trade-offs. Um, <clears throat> what we're aiming toward is a set of, we're not aiming toward a toolkit. Um, we've all seen the proliferation of toolkits. They tend to sit on shelves. They have a limited shelf life. Um, we're looking for something more. Um, and this is why we use the, the idea of principles or norms. Um, uh, <clears throat> that um, researchers and practitioners can use to analyze situations and navigate. We, 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 we uh, talk often in our, in our discussions about identifying, analyzing, and navigating three different sort of processes uh, for addressing trade-offs. Um, and ultimately developing curricula, short courses, and so forth. Um, now let me let me talk about the the center. You can go back and talk about the center um, and our role in all of this, and then I'll talk more about the ACSC framework. Um, the center was established um, <coughs> to promote what we we prefer to use the term integrated rather than interdisciplinary, in part because interdisciplinary privileges academics. Um, and an academic perspective, and obviously if we're working in the domain of conservation and development, what's important, um, <clears throat> and here I'm speaking as an academic, is meaningful engagement with the community of practitioners across a range of different domains. Um, integrative 
uh, we think sort of captures that a little bit better uh, than simply uh, interdisciplinary. <coughs> um, <coughs> Um, at uh, CICR, we played a key role in ACSC in developing, uh, helping to develop some of the research, supporting the network development, and managing information. We've also, uh, this is something that many of you may be interested in, we've been developing an online database. We now have something of over 3,000 references. Uh, if you register, we're, we're, we're constrained by uh, copyright law. You have to register to get access, but uh, it's, anyone is free to register. Um, and particularly those of you who are interested in the um, social aspects of conservation, we've got a lot of um, holdings there that we're working to develop it still um, in other directions, um, environmental economics and other areas. And those are still relatively weak, but we're, we're working in that direction. Um, so I welcome any of you to um, take advantage of that resource. <coughs> 